change the stuff around. And notice right. Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me. Yes, right. Right? right. right? What he's saying is all the things that you were busy celebrating and remembering during the Passover, they all spoke of me yeah. right. and what I was going to come and do. Right? And so for now on, you're going to break bread and do this in remembrance of me mm -hmm. and what I'm about to do, which is in the likeness of what happened in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. What did God judge against at the cross? Sin and Sin death. death. Sin and death. What did God judge against in Egypt? Sin and Sin death. death. Why did God judge against sin and death at the cross? So he could lead everybody out from the bondage of, of, of sin and death. Why did he do that? In the, do you see how these things are supposed to line up? Yeah. And that help, that makes it easy to understand. Mm -hmm. And that's why you've got to interpret the, the scriptures after the spirit and not after the letter. Right. Who, The Lord is that spirit. Right. Yes. Right? right? And so you look at the Lord for the interpretation of all these scriptures. Right? right? right. So we don't take the scriptures and try to throw them away. And say, well, because I don't see how that lines up with Jesus then we're just going to say the scriptures are erroneous and their mythology. That persuasion cometh not from above. That persuasion cometh from men and women who aren't comfortable saying, I can't explain that verse right now, but I know that what was revealed in Jesus is the only truth. Which is what we should say rather than trying to throw out scriptures. And there's a whole lot of people who can't understand the Old Testament scriptures and rather than say, I can't explain it, but I know that Jesus is the final say-so about all of it. Mm -hmm. they, what, what's happened is a lot of people want to throw out all of that right. to their peril and everybody who listens to them. Yeah. Because all of the scriptures are what are there to bring forth the revelation of Christ. That's and right. so it's like, if I have a painting in my house, but I only show you 30% of it, and you don't get to see the whole painting, you're not going to be able to get the full effect of the painting. Right. right? Yeah. And so that's what we do when we try to take and throw out scriptures that we can't understand because we think it sounds like it contradicts Christ. Mm -hmm. What we're basically doing is eliminating a big part of the painting right. and eliminating something God's used to paint the picture of Christ. Right. And then that becomes a very significant problem. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so just in our fellowship, and I know that there's a lot of people that are really into this, and so if, if, if this is you, I'm not against you, I'm just against this wisdom. There's a whole lot of thinking now about how the Bible is full of errors and et cetera, et cetera, and every time we think we find something that, that doesn't look like it lines up with Jesus, then we want to come and say that the scriptures weren't inspired by the Holy Spirit, they're inspired by man. Just let me tell everybody, don't believe that. Right. You can believe whatever you want, but don't believe that. <laughs> Let yourself be comfortable saying, Jesus is the final revelation of everything, yes. and so I'm going to look to him for the final say-so, and so if I can't understand something in the Old Testament, I'm not going to let it destroy what I see in Jesus, but I'm not going to throw out those verses either. I'm going to ask God to show me what those verses mean. Right. And guess what? He will. Yes. That's right. And through us like preaching those messages. A bunch of people heard it. They have the Holy Spirit. Many of them have teaching gifts and such, and they can come with their view or their questions. And I preach these messages for feedback because I want people's feedback mm -hmm. because I know there may be a clear way to communicate what I'm saying. Right? right. right? But what we know is I'm never going to throw out any of the verses, mm -hmm. nor am I ever going to say that the people who wrote the verses weren't 100% inspired by the Holy Spirit to write the verses mm -hmm. the way that they wrote. Right. And I think any any teaching that says it that way, I think is very is 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 in massive error and it's going to lead people into a ditch. And I only say that out of love for people's hearts. Right. Yeah.